Hey guys, I'm Gabe and this is Emily and we're going to talk to you about the idea of food deserts and if they exist in Seattle. So let's talk about it. The USDA defines a food desert as any census tract where at least 20% of people earn below the poverty line and 33% live more than a mile from a supermarket. We wanted to look at this issue throughout Seattle, particularly South Seattle, where there's a reported 17 such uh, food desert tracks in King County. Depending on the location and intersectionality of social status, we were wondering what the availability of fresh food is like, specifically in different communities. To begin answering these questions, we looked at two neighborhoods, Rainier Beach and Leslie, two neighborhoods which are very close to each other geographically, but yet represent polar opposites on the socioeconomic scale. Our team began gathering research by conducting interviews in the specific neighborhoods. We sent out field reporters to gather information through locals. So Rainier Beach is known as one of the poorest neighborhoods in Seattle, dubbed the ghetto of Seattle by the locals. And Leshy is considered one of the high class neighborhoods, with the 10th highest ranking private school in the neighborhood. The ethnicity of the populations in the two different neighborhoods is shocking as well, considering their proximity to each other. Leshy has a population that is 55% white, 4% Hispanic, and 23% African American, whereas Rainier Beach has 22% white, 11% Hispanic, and 31% African American. This begs the question of the relationship between race, location, income level, and status. We are looking to add a new layer to this relationship by observing access to nutritious, quality, and cheap food. What we found is a shocking difference. We're looking into the quality of food access in your area. It has been said that you have good access to food and fair pricing, and that your neighborhood is safe and fair. Do you agree with this? Well, the pricing has been quite fair all along until lately where the price has gone up quite a bit, probably because of the inflation. Okay. Um, where do you frequently shop for groceries? Uh, I frequently uh, shop in the QFC and the Trader Joe's and sometimes it's a whole food market. Yeah. Oh, so why do you, tr uh, why do you go to these places for groceries? Oh, because it's convenient, it's nearby place, then yeah, the price are uh, yeah, relatively uh, cheap, yeah. How many stores do you have access to? And do you shop at various places? Uh, usually I will just go to QFC and then yeah, those, uh, th this is the main, main uh, uh, grocery store they go for. Okay. Do you feel as though the products you, you purchase are fairly priced? Uh well I mean uh, last uh, last time it was quite okay but uh, lately uh, as I said the inflation has caught up and then I discovered that the price has actually gone up quite a bit yeah so it's no longer fair um do you think these stores are trying to coerce you into buying certain things uh yes, sometimes it does. Uh, it just give a kind of special offer for kind of bulk purchase, and then uh, once you get hooked, then they will they will have uh, this offer period over that you end up have to pay more for the item. Yeah, I I think that there's a there's a, some kind of a hidden agenda in the whole things. Yeah. We're studying the fairness of access to food depending on where people live. Your area has been looked at a lot for not providing good access to food for its residents, especially given their socioeconomic status. Do you agree with this? No, yeah. Uh, I think it's, it's, I don't, I don't, I think it's hard to find, you know. Yeah, that's, that's it. I think it's hard to find good grocery places where, you know, you can just, yeah, what you need every day. It's really hard to get something that you afford. Where do you usually um shop for groceries and why? I just I don't really shop for groceries. I just go to you know McDonald's or like, uh, if I go for groceries, I just go to the Safeway and get um 
stuff like mac and cheese or frozen food. Yeah. Okay. How many stores do you have access to? Not many, just mostly Safeway and sometimes all the grocery stores that are beside that are cheaper and like I can I do, it depends on how how much money I have, how much cash I have on that moment, so I don't really know. I don't really target a place sometimes just see if I have enough cash or anything. Do you shop at various places? No, not really. Just mostly Safeway. If I'm really hungry, go to the McDonald's and get a meal. Do you feel as though the products you purchase are fairly priced? No, there a lot of them are so expensive. I don't I don't really buy the food that is too expensive. I only get most of the stuff when they're discounted or if they're necessary. I wouldn't buy apple juice because if soda is cheaper, why would I buy apple juice? You know what I mean? Just get cheaper stuff in bulk. Okay. Do you think these stores are trying to coerce you into buying certain things? Sometimes, yeah, because they have like in bulk discounts and then you think about it, you know, ten dollars for a big pack and then you think about it and then you realize sometimes it's not worth it you know you don't need so many things so many of the same item for ten dollars you can just buy one for one dollar you know so in summary what we found out is that there is lesser access to groceries in Rainier Beach and people tend to go there for basic necessities they sometimes feel coerced to buy discounted products. For Leshy, there is more accessibility as they can drive to other high-end grocery stores nearby, but prices can still be too expensive for them in these stores. <laughs>